Hey everybody, I'm Dylan with On1, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can take your exposure brackets and quickly merge them together into a stunning HDR sunrise photo using On1 Photo Raw 2018. So to get started creating an HDR photo, we first need exposure brackets. So I have my three exposure brackets here. If you look at the first one, this is sort of my base exposure. This is the exposure that I expose for the highlight detail. And this is the exposure that I used to expose for the shadow detail here in my foreground. And once we merge those photos together, it's going to merge together the shadow details and the highlight details, as well as all of the other tonal ranges in the photo so that we can see them in one single exposure. So let's merge them together. If I head back to my grid view here, and if I simply click and grab all of the photos that I want to merge together, I can go to HDR, And now you'll see a real-time preview of your HDR photo that's been merged together from those three exposure brackets. I'm actually not going to do a whole lot to this photo inside of the HDR module. All of the tone and color adjustments that I'm going to make, I'm going to make inside of develop. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I can hold down my J key and I can see my black and white clipping warnings. That way I can expose correctly and edit my photo so it looks realistic. So all I'm going to do inside of this HDR module is I'm simply going to make sure that my photo here is opening up in develop. That way, once I hit save, we can start making tonal and color adjustments immediately. So I'm going to hit save and it's going to send my photo into develop. And now that we're in develop, the first thing I want to do is I want to crop some of these trees out to get rid of them in the foreground. So if we head over to the crop tool, and if I hold down shift, I'm just going to crop it down a little bit. And then I'll just drag it over. And I kind of want to use this tree right here. And this tree is sort of a frame for the scene right here. So I'm just going to crop it up a little bit more. That looks good. And then I'll just move this over here. Right about there. And I want to make sure my photo is level. So let's grab our leveling tool. And there's not really a horizon line, but you can kind of see the little areas where it's straight. So if you click on those and then find another area that's sort of similar in elevation, I would say, just click on that and it'll straighten your photo for you. Now I'll just hit enter. And you'll notice that when we crop the photo, it made a nice little frame for our landscape scene. Now what we can do is we can get into editing our photo. So let's hold down the J key and this will show us our true white and true black in our photo. The red here is the true white with no detail. There's not much of it, so I just want to pull down on the exposure just a hair to remove a little bit more. And now I'm going to pull up on the shadow slider to reveal all of the shadow detail in my photo. That obviously looks a little bit flat, so let's add a little bit of contrast. And also, I'm going to hold down on my J key again, and I'm going to add some true black into my photo. There we go. That adds a lot more contrast. We have our highlight details preserved, and we can also see all of the areas in our foreground. The last few things I want to do inside of the tone and color is I want to turn up the temperature a little bit. That way, I can warm up my photo and bring back some of the green colors in here as well as to bring back some of the orange and yellows in my sunrise. The last thing I want to do instead of develop is I want to pull down on the saturation a little bit. It's looking a little oversaturated in the clouds here. So let's just pull down on the saturation slider to zero. And now I'm going to simply look at my photo without looking at the saturation slider and I'm going to pull up on it until I have the saturation that I want. And now we've set the overall tonality for our photo. The last thing I want to do is I just want to get a little creative with some of the filters instead of effects. And also I want to add a few local adjustments to my photo to sort of clean up and add more detail and contrast to my foreground. So let's head into effects. And you'll notice that the HDR look is already applied to the photo. Whenever you merge photos together inside of HDR, it's going to apply the HDR look automatically to your photo. So I'm going to leave the HDR look how it is because it does a lot to my photo. 
But what I want to do is I want to add one more filter and I'm going to add the sunshine filter. And what the sunshine filter is going to do is it's going to increase the highlights in my photo and it's going to decrease the darker tones of my photo. It's basically going to emulate a sunshine look. So if I turn this on and off, you'll notice that it brightens the brighter areas of my photo and sort of subdues these shadowy areas in my foreground. It makes it look a lot more realistic and I like that look. And now what I wanna do is I just wanna sort of deal with this area down here. It's a little bit dark and there's not a whole lot going on, but we have this beautiful river here and this sort of patch of grass and there's some sort of light coming through. So let's go to our local adjustments and let's make sure it's set to lighten. And I'm actually going to increase the contrast as well as the temperature and the saturation and the structure. And I'm simply going to increase my brush size with my bracketed keys on my keyboard. And I'm just going to paint in sort of on the interesting areas of my photo or where on the photo I see light. Like this area is a little bit lighter than the rest, so I'll paint some light into that. This little area here. And I'm also going to paint some in here. So I'm going to hit Z on my keyboard to grab my zoom tool. And I'm just going to hit B on my keyboard to grab my masking brush. I'm just going to ever so gently paint in just a little bit of light onto this mountain here. So let's hit Z, zoom back out. And you'll notice that looks pretty ridiculous. But the great thing about On One Photo Raw is that you can mask and blend any of the adjustments that you make. So if we just turn down the opacity and turn it back up to where we want it. And now if we turn this adjustment layer on and off, you'll see that it does a whole lot to add some interesting details in the lighter areas in my foreground. Now the last local adjustment I want to make to my photo is I want to sort of add a little bit more saturation and color and just sort of liven up the sky here. So let's add another local adjustment layer and let's make sure it's set to darken and we'll increase the saturation just a little bit and we'll also decrease the structure. And now let's just grab our masking bug again and drop it right there and we'll flip it around so it's on the sky. Now if we turn this on and off, and you'll notice that does a whole lot to sort of subdue this sky area here, and also just sort of make it look like it's more cohesive with the foreground. So now what we can do is I just wanna show you guys our original photo. If I hit the backslash key on my keyboard, that's our original photo. And this is our HDR sunrise photo that we just edited you'll see that in not a lot of time, we've really livened up this HDR Sunrise photo using On One Photo Raw 2018. I'm Dylan with On One. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more.